What's going on everyone? Welcome to a new video. So I'm going to talk to you about some photography and videography experience I had at a food truck recently. Let's get right into it. So one of the first things I learned is you want to first get acquainted with everyone there. So you want to find either your contact or someone and then they'll introduce you to whoever is running the food truck. So you want to find the staff. So like the chefs, the people who are kind of doing the cash, everything. You want to find people who are there so that you can get the atmosphere and you can kind of talk to them about what they do and also kind of like learn how you can kind of capture the experience regardless of what it is. The second thing I learned is that you also want to get, and this is probably kind of the most obvious thing, is you want to get shots of them doing what they're doing. So um, get stuff when they're making the food, get stuff when they're like throwing a sauce. So for example, I took a few photos, I'll throw it somewhere up on screen um, where they were cooking. So like I got steam, I got the shots of them cutting the uh, shawarma, it was a shawarma place. And I also got like things where they were cashing out and stuff. So you want to get stuff like that. That really kind of shows oh, this is what, how cool it's made and it looks kind of interesting and people would actually gravitate towards that content on social media or wherever they're posting it. Another thing is you want to get shots of themselves. So we want to get like, for, I was dealing with the family. So you want to deal, you want to get shots of them working, but also just like headshots and certain things where it's more almost like a profile of them. So you can have options to post at different places, but also it looks professional, it looks really cool. And it's kind of like one of those ads that you could see on like billboards and stuff where it's like, oh, you know, here we are, this is what um, we do. That's another thing I'd say uh, to definitely capture because it really can also show. So if someone's really bubbly, they could be like on the video, on the photo or video instead of, you know, just being like cross like cross armed all the time and stuff like that. You know, it depends on what uh, you do, but you really want to showcase a personality in photos and video because that's what people are going to go and gravitate towards. And that's what the experience is. I know there's like a few restaurants here and there where like they are intentionally rude to you, but that's the kind of like, that's kind of the material and stuff that they show. So then you kind of go for that thing and you know what to expect. So that's why uh, that's what you should capture. Another thing is, and this is also another obvious one, but this is something that just, it's always a good reminder to have. You want to find people buying and also customers there. So for example, I went and this is more of a Halloween kind of, time so there was actors that were coming from this haunted house that was like nearby so we had a picture of them so we had a group picture of them in front of the, the truck we had a few different pictures of them like eating and stuff like that so there's different things you want to do to kind of show that oh people are actually enjoying this food and it's really nice and it looks really cool and fun to eat so there's stuff like that that you don't want to get so it makes it more enticing for people to come to eat or to do business with Another thing is also you want to showcase how clean and how um, nice everything is, like the facilities and all that stuff. So you are, you want to show oh everything's nice and sanitized, everything's done well, everything. People because people are very concerned about their health, especially during all the stuff in recent years. Um, you want to deal with stuff like that to kind of show okay people can eat here, it's safe. There's no nothing to worry about. You can just enjoy your food the way you want. So there's another thing that you should really look at to kind of portray. Even if it's in some way, simple as showing like someone with a glove on their hand or like a mask or something, you know, it depends on what it is, but you can do different things to kind of show a different personality and different kind of vibe to it. Make sure that it looks good for social media and whatever else they're using. So that's more of what I learned on what to do for food truck photography and videography. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below. And thanks for watching. I really hope you liked it. If you got value, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Bye.